Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Tata Consultancy Services TCS is facing an unexpected problem as they navigate the post-pandemic corporate world. While their return to office plans have met resistance, they are also grappling with a shortage of office space, which is causing confusion among employees about their workspaces. TCS has seen a significant increase in its workforce in the last two years, with an additional 100,000 employees, bringing their total to over 600,000 employees. This surge has made the shortage of office space even more challenging. One major issue contributing to this problem is the discontinuation of what TCS called Occasional Occupation Zones OOZs. These were dedicated temporary workspaces available across various TCS offices. With the removal of OOZs, some employees are now left with no choice but to work in hallways and lobbies, which is far from ideal, especially for extended work hours. TCS is encouraging employees to return to the office for a full five-day work week, ending work from home arrangements for some teams. However, employees are now being instructed to return to the offices assigned to them, rather than choosing the office closest to their homes. TCS claims this is to streamline the return to office process due to variations in office capacities. Some TCS employees have reported that their city allowance could be deducted if they choose not to work from their assigned offices. This allowance ranges from 2,000 rupees to 3,000 rupees per month for employees in Tier 1 locations. Some employees are willing to give up this allowance in exchange for more flexibility in choosing their workspace. The Labor and Employment Ministry in Maharashtra has issued a notice to TCS based on a complaint from the nascent Information Technology Employees Senate Knights regarding delayed onboarding of lateral recruits. Knights has demanded full salaries for affected employees during the delay in access to TCS's Employee Assistance Program. TCS has faced challenges due to delayed onboarding and a surge in headcount. They have announced a slowdown in hiring recently, reflecting lower attrition rates. The specific steps TCS will take to address the office space shortage and employee concerns are not yet fully clear. The shortage of office space at TCS along with the removal of OOZs and evolving return to office policies presents significant challenges to both employees and the company. Finding a balanced solution that meets employee needs, provides work flexibility, and optimizes office space is a task TCS is working on in the transition to the post-pandemic working environment.